All right. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Integra's first F5 webinar that we're hosting today. So thanks mm -hmm. for being here. Um, we'll give it just a few more moments till the, all the clocks say that it's at the top of the hour, and then we'll kick it off. There we go. Just trying to close some windows, some <laughs> some extra windows, Chris. I don't want us to get tripped up on uh, all the stuff I've got open on my, my laptop. So apologize for that. No worries. I think we can go ahead and kick it off. We're starting to fill out some folks hopping in here. So welcome everybody to Zentegra's Partner Spotlight Series. Uh, today we have F5 joining us and more specifically, Mickey Woods from the F5 uh, DevOps channel team. So welcome, Mickey. Thanks for being well, here thank today. Thank you, Chris. Glad to be here. Awesome. So super excited about this. And uh, again, our partnership kind of kicked off in the ball rolling here as we head towards the end of the year, um, really starting to shape up some activities for next year. So we'll, we'll continue with these kind of uh, partner spotlight series uh, in the future. So watch out for... Um, promotions from that, uh, where you can find us through email and uh, LinkedIn and other platforms where we share information about stuff coming up that we have in the pipeline. If you could, please uh, click on the next one. So for next year, if you're not familiar with Zentegra, well, we do quite a bit of marketing events. Uh, this past year, we actually gave away two Ford Broncos under the Work Has No Boundaries campaign. And um, that was pretty neat. And the year before we gave away one camp, one Ford Bronco. So we were pretty big on the Broncos for two years in a row and we decided to change it up a little bit for 2024. Um, so you can qualify for what we are presenting as a dream vacation uh, to Maui. And that winner will be, um, uh, all the participants in this program will be tallied up and then presented. One of the winners will be presented at one of the big events next year. Um, super excited about this. It's super easy to qualify for it. You can reach out to anybody on this Integra team and we can kind of steer you in that in the direction to get you qualified. But something as small as a four hour micro assessment, either around your service now or Salesforce or your F5 environment, or your virtualization environment, anything like that can easily qualify you. And then hopefully if we can lead into some more discussions to see how we can partner and work with you guys better. So this is really exciting and hope to have a, a lot of response from it. So you click on the next one, please. A little bit about myself. I'm the practice director of the uh, network practice here at Zintegra, uh, living in Charlotte pretty much my whole life just south of Charlotte on the South Carolina side at the moment, but I uh, help support our sales force across the country. I've uh, worked in IT my whole life. So I've been a developer, I've been an infrastructure guy, I've done a little bit of everything. And I kind of focused my capabilities on the load balancing and, and access layer for the applications inside of organizations um, before joining Zintegra about 10 years ago. So. Been here, have, wore a lot of hats, saw the company grow, and uh, having a lot of fun right now in my position. So I'm really passionate about uh, customer networking initiatives, how we can help make things better for you, problems we can solve, or ultimately try to help save you some money. 
Um, I'm a big fan of uh, networking and security conferences. I love to snowboard and I play a little guitar. So not super great at it. Can't quit my day job, but I do enjoy uh, picking the strings a little bit. And right below there, you can see my LinkedIn profile if you want to reach out and connect with me. Can you click on the next one, please. Another one of our more targeted um, promotions is getting folks to conferences. So in this example, uh, F5 has the app world coming up in February next year. If you reach out to us through those micro assessments or any of those discussions and it turns into something as simple as a, re a renewal of some sort, we can help dedicate about 90% of the conference pass costs in your, in your direction. So we can help get you there with uh, minimal cost out of pocket for our customers. And we do this with a lot of different vendors. Uh, we try to build a community where we enable you guys um, and try to remove that cost prohibitive uh, layer that can sometimes keep folks from being able to attend these kinds of conferences. But um, definitely reach out to us, reply to the webinar if you're interested in seeing how we can get you out there. It'll be my first year at AppWorld and uh, Jeffrey Olson, who's also an attendee on, the, um, on this webinar today, he'll be joining me as well. So. We're super excited about that. And um, again, we do it for a lot of different ones as well. So if Cisco Live's on your on your agenda or VMworld, um, any of those kind of conferences, we will try our best to get you there and, and give you some options and means to make that possible for you. Cool. Yep. And this is the last one from me, but a little bit about Zentegra, who we are. Well, we're a value-added reseller. So uh, we're leading the software, hardware, and, and licensing aspect for a lot of customers. And we do that by achieving the highest level of manufacturer partner status. So when we go to market with, um, with partners, we put a lot of effort and investment into those relationships. And that in turn provides the best price for our customers with a um, consulting staff who is completely trained to, to help deliver the ultimate experience in the optimal um, configuration for your environments. We also offer managed services through two different MSPs that we have internally uh, that span coast to coast. And lastly, the complementary assessments. Again, I'll touch on that a little bit more. They're super helpful. Doesn't take a lot of investment from you guys, but we can uh, definitely hop in and, and try to troubleshoot something for you or reposition some um, uh, efforts that you might have coming down the pipeline and be your partner in that in that regard. So with that, I'm going to uh, highlight again that we're in the Partner Spotlight Series. You can watch out for a couple more of these that are about to be booked for next year where we'll uh, dive in a little bit deeper in some of the F5 technologies. But with that, I'll hand it over to Mickey to say hello, and we can kind of get the, this kicked off here from the technical standpoint. Great. Thank you, Chris. I, I appreciate that. Uh, it's um, exciting to be working with Zentegra and yourself. And um, I really like the, uh, the thought process of uh, starting off with kind of our core competency. But I, I noticed uh, some of the um, logos on the last slide. And, and an important thing to mention uh, to the friends on the call is that frequently, most of the time, F5 is a complementary technology. So when you think of F5, uh, use the word and, uh, F5 and some of these other um, uh, cool network security point products. But I got my march marching orders from, from Andy Whiteside and I wanted to keep it along uh, the lines of application delivery controllers. Uh, load balancing, several years ago, I'd get in a lot of trouble if I called F5 a load balancer, but yes, that's what we do is we um, deliver applications uh, faster um, safer and smarter. And so that's a reoccurring theme with, with F5. We, we do lots of things, uh, but we certainly have the ability to uh, present application services to connecting clients wherever they're sitting in the world. So that's what we do. And we've been doing it uh, highly successful for a very, very long time. Uh, and grateful to get the chance to speak with all of you. I hope this is the first of many conversations. So I live in Rochester, New York. Uh, the snow is flying. Uh, here in the great uh, uh, 
uh, Northeast. Uh, I was in Tampa, Florida on Monday and Tuesday, got in late, late last night, <laughs> just know. So, but that's okay. I love the four seasons. Uh, this has been my home for many, many years and uh, love what I do. Love working uh, at F5 with all my F5 uh, friends. Um, I've been evangelizing the product for about 10 years. I've been with the company about five and then five years before that, I was the dedicated F5 solutions engineer at distributor Ingram Micro. So that's when I drank the Kool-Aid uh, compared to some of my friends on the engineering side. Uh, you know, I have moderate experience. We've got a lot of folks uh, here at F5 that have uh, 20 plus years of, of F5 Big IP. So it's always a, a cool thing to, to touch base with all of those experts. Um, 20 plus years of network and security experience. Uh, really kind of cut my teeth on the um, uh, computing server um, side within, with with um, Sun Microsystems uh, back in the late 90s. So, uh, you know, I've been around the block a few times. But I'd say that the thing that I enjoy the most um, is um, seeing that light bulb go off for my audiences when I'm talking about F5. You know, I've, I've spent most of my uh, life as an adult learner and and uh, been in a lot of classrooms and did all of my education at night, uh, which was which I'm glad I completed. But um, sometimes you sit in either a virtual room like this or or um, maybe on site during a training, and, and you just don't get what what the what the technology does. And so I like to see that light bulb uh, go off. I'm constantly trying to improve how I relate to uh, the folks that I'm speaking with, and I, I get a kick out of it. I love to travel, especially to new places. The wife and I got to go to Italy this year. Uh, but we have uh, 10 grandchildren with number 11 due any day. Uh, so that's uh, that's something that we're, we're trying to navigate through with all of our travel. And uh, very proud to be a United States Navy veteran. Uh, love serving my country. And uh, uh, you can see my LinkedIn uh, page uh, here. Please uh, check out what I've been doing uh, on, the, on my uh, career and connect with me. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Okay. I think the easiest takeaway from this conversation is just think in terms of applications. F5 equals applications. Now, uh, of course, the, um, the platforms that these applications are sitting on is mission critical. Servers, storage arrays, uh, switch, switches, routers, um, hypervisor software, replication software, et cetera. All of those things are important. But if you think in terms of, of F5 as applications, then I, I think there may be an opportunity for um, uh, us to help along with our, our friends at Zentegra. So key takeaway, uh, just think of F5 in those terms. We have um, uh, a mission uh, to bring a better digital experience uh, to all of us. Um, and uh, our, our CEO, he's a, a very inspirational individual, Francois Lucadeneau. Uh, he's done a fantastic job of uh, moving us into uh, some some new opportunities and to uh, make uh, consuming F5 technology, um, you know, uh, quite a bit easier, right? Um, it, I, you've heard me mention we deliver applications faster, smarter, and safer, but we have a lot of different ways to do that, okay? Um, it still uh, centers around uh, the experience for connecting clients and, and making sure that we keep traffic flows safe and lots of different ways and flexibility to do that. You know, sometimes customers need purpose-built F5 hardware, and that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, we are uh, changing into uh, a software and security company. Security, we've always been a security company from day one, but in 2022, we had uh, one um, billion dollars, uh, that's billion with a B, in software sales, and half of that was security. Uh, so uh, we feel very confident that we have a solution uh, to fit your particular needs, whether your applications are sitting, um, you know, in the main data center or premise location, public or private clouds or co-location, wherever your applications are sitting, uh, on the edge, uh, we can help. So I certainly hope that we can circle back and have those conversations going forward. So what's, uh, what's the big deal? What's driving it? Well, you know, we, we collaborate uh, using mobile and web-based applications here in, in uh, the year 2023. So the opportunity, uh, again, to just to reinforce that is, you know, we when we uh, want to get access to information, we want it to happen right away. We want to use these applications to improve our company's bottom line, 
Uh, and we certainly want to give everyone that's connecting a, a great experience. But some of the challenges that that take place is security. You know, we, we're paying a price uh, for this uh, ease of collaboration uh, with um, uh, an expanded, call it a threat vector when it comes to protecting this information traffic flow. And the very nature of applications are changing to a more modern type of architecture. Uh, you know, you uh, customers are certainly starting to adopt uh, container-based microservices running in Kubernetes clusters. Uh, and, you know, there's some load balancing that happens uh, in that space that, that we're also capable of. But the bottom line is um, it can be very complex. So F5 gives you the ability to kind of bring uh, all of these technologies together. And again, the idea is to uh, give you a better uh, digital experience. And this is just a great example of uh, 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 an end user using a smartphone, Susan, um, and it she's getting access to her application services and it and the components that make up this particular shopping experience uh, may be uh, uh, involving many different uh, information resources, right? And it's it's um, a, a wide range of uh, a combination of both legacy type of applications and and modern applications, uh, you know, uh, spanning um, you know the the on-premise data center and uh, some of these public cloud edges. And the the idea is that when we're launching these applications, whether they're business apps, whether they're personal apps, we want it to open immediately. And that's where F5 excels, right? You know, do an experiment on your own. As long as you've got some good network connectivity wherever you're sitting on today's call, hit one of those icons on your smartphone and it should open up in less than three seconds, maybe two seconds. And that's that's F5 sweet spot. We're going to get you access to your application services lightning fast. Okay. And that's that's the uh, one of another important takeaway of, of, of today's meeting. You should have confidence uh, in partnering with Zentegra and F5 in your application delivery journey. Okay, we, we operate uh, and provide applications uh, to a lot of different customer verticals, whether it's banking or US government, you know, the insurance sector, retail, telecommunications organizations. We, uh, we're sitting in front of about 440 million websites. Think about that, that we are delivering application services globally. Uh, and uh, and I just uh, kind of found this out recently, 560 petabytes of data daily. Wow, it's a, that's a lot of traffic flow. Uh, and, um, and we've had a lot of success. And uh, again, we, we could not do any of this without uh, value added reseller partners like Zentegra. A great opportunity for me to remind everyone that, uh, you know, Zentegra is the tip of the spear. They're your trusted advisor. They're the ones that are introducing to you cutting edge technology like F5 to solve your business problems and to delight uh, your customers or business partners or employees. Uh, so I uh, wanted to mention that as well. So this is a slide that uh, I'm going to try not to get in trouble with, right? Because uh, uh, I've got... Uh, like I said, I had my marching orders up front from Andy, but you know we do a lot of different things. Yes, local traffic manager here on the left side of the screen is the application delivery controller, uh, and we've been doing that uh, and leading the market uh, for many, many years. But you know, there's other features and functionality that we can introduce, whether it's uh, DNS, global server load balancing. We have a, a stateful firewall product uh, that you might be interested in. I'm not saying you're gonna rush and replace your Fortinet or Junipers or Cisco's or Checkpoint firewall solutions, but you could. You could certainly use that feature on the F5 Big IP if you wanted to add another layer of security. We also have a secure mode access product called Access Policy Manager, uh, which can front end a lot of different uh, environments, including virtual desktop environments, right? Uh, so that's something to consider. And then application security. Look at F5 Big IP is a is a firewall basically right out of the box. Let me just mention that you know we're creating listeners, we're listening for traffic on uh, IP address and, and port combinations. So we're not scanning traffic, hoping to make uh, the right uh, load balancing decision. We're actually seeing the traffic and making sure that unless you've got the right credentials, you ain't getting in. Okay, so it's been a firewall from day one. 
Uh, so you don't have to worry about the security efficacy of F5 Big IP, even the legacy uh, application delivery controller stuff that we're talking about up front. The good news is, is that you don't have to have multiple F5 boxes, whether they're hardware, whether they're virtual edition equivalent, whether it's a server-based solution or a chassis-based solution. If you have the right licensing bundle, good, better, best, you, your engineer is going to have the ability to turn on that feature functionality. Now, quick, uh, quick note, your engineering team will tell you that uh, just because you can provision something doesn't mean connecting clients are going to get a great uh, experience. So uh, the, uh, the saying is an engineering, Chris will back me up on this, the devil is in the details, right? So if you're going to turn on these features and functionality, you really have to work with uh, folks like uh, Zentegra, to understand traffic flow, a number of connecting clients, the right load balancing algorithm to use, depending on the nature of the application that's being accessed, et cetera. Uh, so I uh, wanted to mention that, but bundling is a beautiful thing, right? You, you get a bundle and it gives you the ability to turn on uh, features that may um, surface through some uh, uh, project that takes place in the calendar year. You know, as the yeah. quarters fly by, sometimes we need to do things, new things. And it's kind of cool that you can um, uh, turn on these features uh, without having to go through an elaborate uh, procurement process. So I think that's that's a huge advantage. And then if you have more than F5 Big IP appliances, you can use our Big IQ centralized management solution. So uh, good stuff. Uh, we do a lot of different things and uh, we hope to... Uh, you know, have those conversations with all of you. Okay, so just a quick um, note about uh, our R-Series servers. Um, they are brand new. Uh, if, you, if you are currently enjoying F5 Big IP hardware solutions uh, and our customers, thank you very much. We really appreciate, uh, you know, your, your loyalty. We do have some new hardware that you should consider uh, R-Series. Uh, is the next step up from, from I-Series. You know, it, the, the time just flies, folks. You know, I'm preaching to the choir, uh, but we're keeping up uh, with making sure that for all of your customers that need purpose-built F5 hardware, that we have a good solution in place for you. Rearchitected, we can run legacy uh, F5 operating system on these chassis, as well as some of the new modern-day modular architecture that we're kind of moving to. OK, so we have something for everyone from a hardware standpoint. I also want to mention that we have uh, some serious enterprise class chassis solutions, too. We're moving from Viprion to Velos, V-E-L-O-S. I didn't uh, I didn't want to get too techy and, and talk about speeds and feeds, but um, we certainly have a, a, a great uh, new series of platforms that I think are going to work really well for all of you. All right, so what's uh, what's F5's play with automation? Been doing it for years. Okay, we have our own um, Application Services 3 automation tool set, right, to create configuration objects. But, um, you know, Chris will tell you that as an as a administrator, he and I could go into a, um, a load balancing solution, um, create configuration objects like uh, pool members and pools and and virtual servers and listeners and, and use profiles to help uh, you know, process that type of traffic. Uh, but it's a heck of a lot easier to use an automation tool like Red Hat Ansible. I'm actually uh, co-hosting um, an F5 Red Hat Ansible uh, um, uh, workshop tomorrow. Uh, certainly any of those types of uh, um, um, environments that uh, you'd like to get your hands on. I'll work with the Chris Dorn at Zentegra and we could spin those up for you just to kind of get your hands. Uh, if you want to get your engineering team uh, access to some of those technologies, no problem. Just reach out to Zentegra and uh, and I'll make it happen for you. But but automation tools are a beautiful thing. Um, they, they help you make declarations where you can run a very simple script and get to some preferred end state using whatever source of truth that is important to you and your company. It's all API traffic uh, driven, and it's a great way to, um, to kind of create some um, or alleviate some of those work cycles that your, your engineering teams have to kind of uh, fight through. We're all, we're all wearing multiple hats. We all need to do things 
quickly and efficiently things that we can replicate going forward. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time we want to spin up some type of a application delivery uh, configuration uh, for a particular service that you're presenting to your customers. So um, it's uh, it's just a, an important part of what we're doing today. Uh, and uh, it's just making everyone's life a lot, a lot easier. All right, let me just pause there for a second. Uh, let me just check chat real quick. Uh, okay, I don't think we have any questions in there. So that's cool. Nope, not yet. Okay, excellent. Let me just grab a quick drink. So we have what's called F5 Distributed Cloud. Again, uh, Chris had did a, done a great job up front of mentioning that this is kind of the, the beginning of the F5 journey in, in Zentegra. Again, we appreciate it. Um, there's other things that we can do for customers that I wanted to talk about. It's called Distributed Cloud. It is abbreviated F5XC. We didn't want to use DC because that, that would be confusing. So it's F5 Distributed Cloud Services, and it's it's a way, it's still F5 Big IP. We're still, we're still doing the load balancing thing, and we're still a security company, but we're, we have this SaaS solution now that gives customers greater flexibility to consume our capabilities. And so we're really, really excited about that. And so before, um, before we kind of get to that, um, I'll give you a quick history of the company. Let me just kind of build this slide out real quick. All right. So we can kind of keep things moving along. But we've talked about big IP, right? Our legacy product, right? It could be a hardware solution. It could be a virtual edition equivalent uh, in one of the public clouds. And we've done all kinds of things that, that I've just talked about. But the way that uh, the industry is going, and I'm sure some of our customers on the call can attest to this, is that we're spinning up um, uh, applications, web-based applications, a little differently these days, right? And so F5 wanted to get into that space uh, and uh, as a result, we purchased a company called Nginx. So I, I don't know if any of our friends on the call, Chris, are dabbling in Kubernetes uh, clusters and container-based microservices. But if they are, uh, we've got a great solution for you. It's Nginx One. The open source is alive and well for Nginx. It's running 400 million websites globally. Very popular. But it's always great um, to have a, a product that is supported, right? So if the DevOps uh, folks are spinning up uh, open source instances of Nginx and they're on vacation or fishing or golfing uh, or just not available, it's nice to be able to call somebody if you've got a, a problem. So Nginx One is, is another um, you know, microservices, uh, cloud native and cloud friendly technology that you can leverage from F5. Uh, but we also, uh, in addition to uh, purchasing that company, we we, um, we acquired Volterra uh, and a company called Shape Security. So F5 Distributed Cloud Services is bringing all of these different technology platforms together in one holistic way to monitor, manage, uh, and uh, deliver applications globally to um, any connecting uh, client, regardless of where they're sitting in the world. You know, whether you're talking about defending against distributed denial of service, I mean, that's that's a serious security threat uh, when you've got uh, volumetrics, volumetric attacks hitting your network edge. Uh, you know, it could be in the 200 to 400 gigabit per second range. And, uh, you know, even if you have a 100 gigabit per second Internet connection, chances are your sites are going to go down. And so you, you want to defend against that. Uh, or it could be a you know web application firewall capability, right? Um, the idea is to um, you know keep the bad actors out and let the good players like all of us connect to our application services. And the reoccurring theme is we want to secure, deliver, and op optimize every app, every API call anywhere uh, in the world, regardless of where you're sitting at home, at the office, or maybe I don't know, maybe at a, at a Starbucks drinking your latte before you hit the office, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think it's good to kind of point out a lot of those components there. They're, they've been around for a while, but in the past like year or two with a lot of the ransomware attacks and everything kind of happening, it's like you had these features and these components and now we're, we're starting to see the industry kind of shift towards really taking advantage of those and stacking those. It's like that the application delivery world is 
really always kind of had these pieces, but now folks are really starting to apply those because the, the security is nothing without the availability of the application to the user and vice versa. It has to be there to the user very quickly and it has to be secure. So oh. F5 has always had these components in the ecosystem and inside of their product stack here. And now we're, again, we're seeing where the industry is really shifting towards having to apply the DDoS and the WAF and the bot mitigation just to get that one app where you historically just kind of relied on the low balancing and the global low balancing. You know, it, it's taken a lot more to stay safe and deliver these applications consistently and efficiently. No, nope. right on, Chris. Well said. You know, uh, folks, I know that customers are going to many different clouds uh, from premise. You know, you can use cloud native tools, uh, but you want to consider that carefully before stepping forward. If the business demands you to move your applications uh, to a different public cloud provider, you know, again, mm -hmm. those tools are proprietary. You cannot port whatever you've configured in AWS over to Microsoft Azure. It's not happening. So how cool would it be to have a, a solution to write a security policy once and propagate that globally, regardless of the application you're protecting? That's that's going to be a sweet spot for uh, Zentegra and F5. We're really excited about it. Right on. Yep. And this is just kind of bringing everything together. And I, I like this slide because, um, you know, there's lots of different engineering groups within a company spaces, right? You've got the, the application developers that are writing the code. And then you've got the DevOps teams that have to make sure that the code is updated and it's working. And then the network team gives it uh, a place to live somewhere in the world. And then, oh, by the way, let's bolt on security at the end. So you, you may have heard the term um, shift left. And the idea is let's let's build an application from the ground up with all of these different engineering groups. And the way we get uh, from point A to B successfully to improve a uh, company's bottom line uh, is to think right. So shift left, but think right. What what end state do we need our application to uh, to look like so that um, you know, connecting clients are delighted? Company uh, bottom line is being improved, and uh, you know the world keeps spinning along. And we do that with you know automation that we talked about. You know whether it's GitLab or GitHub, um, or we're using maybe a third party uh, logging platform to give uh, uh, administrators notification through SMS text uh, or email that uh, there may be an issue. Great way to proactively keep an eye on application uh, services. And again, it's spanning any kind of um, application um, uh, platform. It could be a, a CDN solution, one of the public clouds. It could, could be in a branch office. And I think the the most popular um, solution on distributed cloud that you know gives us flexibility and and uh, uh, consistency in these security services is this WAP solution that includes API security. You know, um, I think I read somewhere recently where half of Salesforce.com revenue is through API calls, and and I, it's believable. There's just billions and billions of API calls. It's this traffic flow, these platforms commuting back and forth uh, with each other with these um, API traffic flows. You've got to safeguard that that information. You know, again, stopping unwanted automation and letting the good connecting clients through. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, the ability to add security policies to defend against stuff like OWASP top 10. And I, I talked about DDoS mitigation, very, very important. Uh, and uh, using both signature-based and behavior-based bot defense uh, to do that. Uh, so uh, lots of different ways that we can defend this traffic flow. Okay, I think we're doing good on time. Um, I've just got, uh, I think, a slide or two. But some of the key takeaways, and again, folks, I, I appreciate your time. I hope this is a uh, the starting point of, of something that's uh, going to be highly successful. Um, we want to make sure that we're utilizing the tool sets in the industry uh, that, uh, that help us meet whatever objectives you are for your own KPIs, right? Uh, we are definitely evolving uh, into a, a multi-cloud app security delivery company. Uh, again, not to say that you don't need uh, flashing lights in a computer rack, but we have a lot of different ways to help you there. 
And then it's just um, our, our mission uh, here in 2024, right? We want to keep information safe, make application delivery. In fact, I'll, uh, I'll quote uh, a line from Scott McNeely. Um, he talked about it 20 plus years ago at Sun Microsystems. He told us back then that we needed to make web tone like dial tone. And that still resonates more than 20 years later, right? You just you go, you open up an application. You just want it to work. You don't want nothing even spending. You don't want to delay. You want to get access to those applications. So we're going to optimize that experience for every application. However, we're using API calls to make uh, uh, our, our applications function better, whether you're shopping and making sure that you have uh, availability uh, from an uh, inventory standpoint and say Amazon.prime. Right, that's an API call. Oh, there's ten of those there. I guess I'll I'll buy one of those. Uh, so it's exciting and just uh, happy to be a part of this uh, growth opportunity for for both of us, for everyone, right? For for Zentegra, for F5, for the customers that are trying to grow their own business and go through this digital transformation process. We're here to help, uh, and uh, we have a good story to tell you. Uh, just to reinforce App World 2024, it was called Agility for some of our customers on the call that, that may have um, uh, been to previous international events. Again, it's uh, using a naming convention that I think fits a little bit better, Application World 2024. Uh, the Zentegra team has all the answers uh, for, for getting to that event. And uh, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll um, communicate with you whatever information you need to uh, to make it uh, a great trip and one that uh, one that you're going to remember. Okay, I went maybe a half hour, Chris and team. I think that's all I had. I wanted to keep it short and sweet today. I'll stop and see if there's any questions. All right, thank you very much, Mickey. So Just checking check, it check out. Quick. We're doing good. Yeah, I don't see anything yet, okay. but that's that's all right. Uh, I'm sure our guests know they can reach out to us. We can have some more yep. of these discussions and dive in a little bit deeper. But that, that was a very good overview of everything uh, from that five stance. And, you know, what I see is that you guys really the slide kind of pointing out the the presence in Fortune 50 companies and that really made a mark there and have a very strong footprint as far as securing and delivering these applications to the users inside of those organizations. And you gave a decent amount of examples on the public side as well. You know, and, and some folks that might be listening um, and are, are attending here, the webinar, you know, it's like there is a there is an option and a solution for you from the F5 side as well. So you might be inside of an org, you might have come from a super large bank that had a lot of those um, data centers all over the country. And you found yourself now, you, you might be in a, a location working at, say, like a law firm who doesn't even technically have a, a data center. It's all in public clouds. Yeah, I think you really kind of pointed out a, a strong component there. I think we saw a lot during the uh, previous uh, election cycles and everything where some folks had built their applications specifically on one of the public clouds. And then if they didn't like it, they, they kind of shut them down. And it's like, well, if you could have hopped over to another public cloud, you know, you would have been able to stay um, up and running. So kind of extracting that layer from some of these public clouds, while it's really nice that they offer it, if you're looking to kind of um, run in multi-tenants and, and distribute those applications across multiple public clouds, you really need to extract that layer and have a platform that's agile. They can go on-prem, they could go to the next public cloud, they could go to Zintegra's cloud as well. We have those capabilities to make that happen so that you're not locked in by that vendor in that application. So that you still have the, the flexibility and the control that you of course want, but you need to survive with that with those applications. So, very, very good information and, and topics that we looked at here. And no, right on, Chris. And then, you know, these protecting all of this information, these applications uh, can be challenging uh, for customers, uh, staff. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've seen it at F5 where, you know, they, they have a, say, a web application firewall solution. And, you know, there's like 700 knobs to turn <laughs> as a result. They may leave uh, a security policy in transparent mode um, instead of blocking mode. If you don't have it in blocking mode, it uh, it makes it difficult to defend against some of those uh, common 
uh, application layer attacks. And with distributed cloud, you just check a box and you put it in blocking and you're done. And it's, I would say that F5 distributed cloud, Chris and team is F5's easy button for secure application delivery. And, and don't think of it as, oh, well, do I go to the F5 cloud or do, they go to the, do I go to the AWS cloud? That's, that's not the way to look at distributed cloud. Think of it as, think of it as edge 2.0 computing, okay? We don't care where you're deploying your applications, okay? Lots of different platforms can hold them. We'll give you the ability to create your own logical cloud uh, with uh, the the ability to deliver applications anywhere in the world securely, uh, incredibly fast and safe and smart, uh, and all from one pane of glass to kind of monitor and manage um, and provide a great uh, end user experience for for your connecting clients. So that's another key takeaway for sure. Yeah, definitely, Mickey. Yeah, thanks again. Um, if you guys want to check the chat out, there's a couple important links there. If you want to try to get registered for the Hawaii uh, Work Has No Boundaries giveaway, uh, the link in there is available to you. And also the uh, discounted F5 App World passes are available in there too. So please click on those links, check us out, reach out to us. We're here for you to help get you there and to help you on your uh, digital transformation journey. And as always, uh, thank you very much, Mickey. That was really helpful and insightful and looking forward to diving in a little bit deeper on the next one here coming that we'll present and start advertising shortly. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. And uh, I thought the Zentegra team did a fantastic job with, with pulling this all together. It was extremely efficient and I enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to our collaboration. Thank you very much. All right, folks, so that's all we got for today. Again, reach out to us. We're here for you, and uh, we'll get the ball rolling. So hope everybody has a great rest of your week, and thanks for joining us today. Okay. Thanks.